You can do this with a band either anchored into something or a cable machine at the gym. And what you'll do is you'll hold the handle in front of you as far as if you're carrying an object like a box. And you'll step to the opposite side. And as you step, you're turning your torso as one unit, as if your shoulders and hips are turning in a barrel. The lunge and reach is a pretty simple move in essence. However, it can be quite challenging depending on how you change it up. Put simply, you want to lunge forward while keeping your body, upper body, upright, and then reach across the stepping forward leg with the object and then bring it back. You want to make sure not to lose your balance like I did there. Um, this is a different variation of the reverse lunge as opposed to the forward lunge. I'd recommend doing both. When you do this, make sure you're breathing and your body's upright and you're not sticking your butt way out or tucking it way in. Slow and controlled. It's more challenging by wrapping a band around the knee, trying to pull it inward, where you attempt to keep your knee, ankle, and hip in a line. You do not want to let this happen. Or you can make your lunges more narrow, or use a heavier object to rotate, or a combination of all three. Grab yourself a weight, a purse, or maybe a cat. Hold it up to your chest. Set up like you see here um, with a bench or a box, and you simply are standing up and then slowly sitting back down, but you want to sit down back into a chair. And what you want to make sure to do is to keep your knee in line with your ankle. You don't want to have an uncontrolled knee or knees that stick outward or cave inward upon be aware and picky of your positioning with back flat and chin tucked so you can draw a straight line from the top of your skull to your tailbone. You can have a small arch in the low back but make sure it's not an excessive arch nor rounding in the opposite direction. Make sure to breathe abdominally as you go up and down and your knees tracking over the second or third toes but the knees don't go excessively forward over the toes. Also make sure you're maintaining that tripod in your foot with the toes relaxed. <laughs>